Hello, it's Alina from XM8 Mastery, and today we're going to discuss how to produce this 3D printout or PDF version of your roof or your floor plan. It's actually quite easy and only takes a couple steps, so let's go take a look. In order to produce a 3D print of your sketch, whether it be your roof or your main level, you need to be in Sketch to start this. So I'm in an estimate, I'm in the Sketch main tab. I've already got my roof sketched here or an eagle view imported, that would work as well. And in the background of the sketch here, but on the blank space, you're going to right click once and you can see save view. Now if I save this view it's going to be in the 1D version. So I would like it to be in the 3D version. And there's two different ways to get to 3D. In your bottom right corner you've got your different views here. So I've got my 3D view I could click there. Or if you like shortcuts like I do I just tap the number 3 on my keyboard and there's our 3D roof. So usually you will need to left click, hold and drag around to move this in the sketch plane in order to kind of center it and get it where it looks multi-dimensional. However you would like it to see printed is the way that you want to angle the roof. So I'm just left click, holding and dragging and I think that looks pretty good right there. I might zoom in a little bit because sometimes the sketch save view can be a little bit small. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit uh, using the zoom tools right here. Or I've got a mouse, an external mouse, that has uh, the mouse wheel in between the two mouse keys. So I can also zoom in that way. Position the roof in the way that you think you would like it to be saved. And then we're going to right click out here in the blank space. And you're going to click on Save View. I'm going to name this Roof 1. So left click OK. We can also do the same thing with the main level. So I can click on the main level here. I've got a interesting little floor plan I'm working with. I could choose an angle that I think is is the one that I want and using those zoom tools I can zoom in where I'd like it to be and since I like this view here I'm going to right click I'm going to save the view I'm just going to call this main level and left click OK. The shortcut by the way for the plan view to get you back to where it looks normal is one on your keyboard so if one is for one dimensional, like this plan view, like a blueprint, so that's what one is for. Three brings you to 3D view, which is three dimensional, so it's pretty easy to remember. One for plan view, three for 3D view. Now that I've got my views saved, I'm going to go up to print in the top right corner. I'm going to go to sketch, and I'm going to click off the ones that I want. Now I was messing around with this earlier, so I have several saved, but the ones that we created just now was roof one and the main level. So I'm going to click off those two, and then I can export the PDF file. Go and open up that PDF file, and here you can see the PDF. We've got our line items there. I'm going to scoot all the way down to the bottom. There is our 3D view, and there is our main level view. So that is how you create the views in your PDF report. Just right click and save view while in that 3D imaging, and you've got a really nice looking presentation on your hands. This has been Alina Wilson with XM8 Mastery. If you like this video, please press the like button below as well as subscribe for our weekly tips. For more on XM8 Mastery and what we do, visit www.xm8mastery.com, and I'll see you next week.